Hello everybody, my name is Mike DeMauro and I want to welcome you to the latest episode of My Life with Asperger's. On uh, today's video, I'm going to talk about finding the right job for you who are who is on the spectrum and all because I know that we all have have to find a job in life and I know some jobs are good for you, some jobs are bad for you. I don't know if I talked about this on a previous video or not, but if I did, I'm sorry if I'm going to repeat myself here. But if I did not talk about this on a previous video, guess what? I'm going to talk about it here. So, But anyways, finding the right job can be hard. And if you don't have the skills for it, they won't let you work for them. As easy as that. And if you think you might have the experience for the job, they might not think you do. So, that's the way life goes. I've been applying for jobs like crazy. Well, not really, but I've been applying for jobs as much as I could. It's just been real hard finding a job, you know? Like, I'm trying to get out of Pizza Planet, and it's not working. I'm still there and I still get treated like crap when I work so I'm trying to get out of there so I can find a better job where people give me the respect I deserve you know that is very hard now the problem also might be because of stress I get stressed out if it if it's very busy when I work so and that might be hard for me as well because I have pr I have problems dealing with stress, and in work when I'm working, it deal it takes a lot of, takes a lot of, takes a lot of patience and all that you know. And I feel sometimes I can't handle it. That's why I don't work on the cashiering when I'm at work. And I feel okay too. You know, finding the right job can be hard, like I said earlier. But if you know what type of jobs you want, if you have the skills for it, then I say go ahead and try to apply for those jobs because they might want to hire you. You know, just have a correct resume, just call, you know just go in for an interview and be hired you know but anyways now I ran into this list online by Dr. Temple Grandin she's a well-known person in the community and she has a, li a few lists of jobs that might be the right one for you now the website I get it from is autism.com slash IND under slash or whatever and then it's choosing C-H-O-O-S-I-N-G under slash job dot A-S-P I don't know if I said it correctly or not but you know what I'm going to post the link on the uh, on the uh, YouTube as well so on the video description so you'll see it there too now according to here she did a thing she did a list so here's what it says jobs need to be chosen that make use of the strength of people with autism or Asperger syndrome both high and low functioning people have very poor short term working memory but they often have a better long term memory than most normal people I have great difficulties with tasks that put high demands on short term working memory I cannot handle multiple tasks at the same time table one is a list of bad jobs that I would have greatly difficulty doing Table 2 is a list of easy jobs for visual thinkers. 
So basically, so far, we have two lists so far. And then there's more lists and so on. I'll put the list on the, I'll put the link for the list on here. So, anyways, there are four lists on here, and I just talked about a little bit about two of the lists. Now, list number one is bad jobs for people with high functioning autism or Asperger's syndrome. Jobs that require high demands on short term working memories. Cashier. Making change quickly puts too much demand on short term working memory. Now we have those at Pizza Planet. Cashiers. And I was never trained on how to work as a cashier at Pizza Planet because my manager at the time thought it would not be a good position for me and I was more of a people person so that's why I was never trained on cashier however when I worked in the parking lot I was trained for a couple of days at their auto plaza the toll booths and I didn't feel comfortable with that so I told them I could not work it they scheduled me like once or twice after my training and I was complaining to them I cannot do this and they didn't listen to me and they don't care to listen to me at the time so that's my experience with cashier other jobs on that list number one there short order cook, cook. have to keep track of many orders and cook many different things at the same time yes that is real hard. I'll tell you, at Pizza Planet, we only have like three or four different pizzas, and then we have the meatball grinders, which are subs, by the way, just to let you know. And you have to keep up with those. And that's high functioning as well, and a high demand. Next one waitress. Especially difficult if you have to keep track of many different tables. That would that'd be a hard job for someone who's on the spectrum as well because you have to keep track of oh this or this table uh, this order goes to this table and this order goes to that table and all that and it's real hard for that it, it's real hard to make sure that the right orders go to the right tables sometimes casino dealer too many things to keep track of taxi dispatcher too many things to keep track of. Taking oral dictation. Difficulty due to auditory processing problems. Like, you know, like if somebody tells you what they want, you have to write it down and you might not get the correct item for them. That's what it means. Airline ticket agent deal with angry people when flights are canceled. Yeah. That's going to be a difficult one because that causes, that's a lot of stress. And you're going to have a lot of stress if you deal with the angry customers, you know? The angry people. It's real hard because you have to be real calm in trying to help them instead of like being real upset. You know, you, you have to deal with them, you know. Futures market trader. Totally impossible, it says. Air traffic controller. Information overload and stress. Yes. That can be real hard because you have to deal with the airplanes and on how they move and you have to deal with, like, you have to let one plane go at a time and that can be real hard. Receptionist and telephone operator. Would it have problems when the switchboard goes busy? Yes, it would. Because you have to deal with, you might get a lot of stress. And that might not work for you. So That's why they put that on that list. And these are only examples. There might be other jobs out there too. But, alright. Table number two is for good jobs for visual thinkers. Like, if you have the good brains and you can see the things, they might, these might be good jobs for you. 
Computer programming. Wide open fields with many jobs available, especially in industrial auto automation software design, business computers, communications, and network systems. If you know how to run the computer programs, you might get a real good job on how to do that and you might know how to run the programs and you might be able to help other people that might not know them. You know? Drafting? That's like engineering drawings and computer aided dra drafting. Well anyways, just this job can offer many opportunities. Drafting is an excellent portal for entry for many interesting technical jobs. So you have to be real skilled and excellent with drawings and that might be a good job for you. Commercial art. Advertising and magazine layout can be done as freelance work. Which is good because if you are a real good artist you might get a real good job. Photography. Still and video. Tel television cameraman can be done at, as freelance work. Equipment designing. Many industries often a person starts as a draft man then moves into designing factory equipment. Animal trainer or vet technician. Dog obedience trainer behavior problem consultant. Now this would not be a good job for me and I'll tell you why. I have not gotten along with animals when I was growing up. You know when I was younger I was bit by a dog and obviously I don't like dogs so that would not be a good job for me. And we had cats at the house when I was growing up and the cats would not like me. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know why. Automotive mechanic can visualize how the entire car works. Yes. They can know how the car works because they know what part needs to go for what car and all that and where it goes and all that. Now this would probably not be a job for me because I'm not too real interested in fixing cars. I think I would have a real hard time doing it. Computer troubleshooter and repair. Can visualize problems in computers and networks. And that's what we were talking about earlier with the computer programming. Small appliance and lawnmower repair. Can make a nice local business. Handcrafts of many different jobs. Now uh, many different types such as wood carving, jewelry making, ceramics, laboratory technician who modifies and builds specialized lab equipment, web page design, find a good niche market can be done as freelance work. Now I do websites but I don't keep them updated. I do websites for different chapters in the uh, camping club. But I don't keep them updated like I should, and I'm sorry for saying it. And I also did the NAFCA page when I was living with my dad, so. And I was really hoping to get the uh, Springfield RV Camping and Outdoor Show page as well to do that one, but they turned me down, and, they, and the other person who applied for that position uh, actually got it, so. Yeah, I feel a little sorry about that. And if I had the experience from that page I could get a job designing other people's websites and I could actually get paid for it but I don't know but I keep seeing in the newspapers not so many jobs offer website design so I would like to do website design it'd be nice but anyways let's move on here building trades carpenter or welder these jobs make good use of visual skills, but some people will not be able to do them well due to motor and coronation problems. This one is going to be a cool one, but I don't know if I would ever do this. Video game designer. 
and it says stay out of this field. Jobs are scarce and the field is overcrowded. There are many more jobs in industrial communication business and software design computer programming. Another bad thing about this job is the exposure to violent images. Because most of the video games that people create deal with violent st stuff. And if you like to create games, that's good. But if you don't like the violence, then it's not a good feel. Well, you can create games like Wheel of Fortune and all that, and word games. There are people who will play those games. So I do recommend it if you like to have those good games and non-violent games are good, you know? I would, I wouldn't mind having a job like that, you know? But it would be real hard for me. Computer animation. Visual thinkers would be very good at this field, but there is more competition in this field than in the business or industrial computer programming. Businesses are recruiting immigrants from overseas because there is a shortage, uh, shortage of people, uh, shortage of good programmers in business and industrial field. Next one is building maintenance, fixes broken pipes, windows, and other things in an apartment complex, hotel, or office building. I don't know if I would be willing to do that one because it would be hard for me to fix broken pipes and all. Factory maintenance, requires, uh, repairs and fixes factory equipment. Another, uh, let me give you another example from this list. Well, well it's not on this list, but be a good job is uh, cleaning tables being a busser a restaurant because all you have to do is like clean tables and all. my restaurant most of the time I clean tables and do trash I know I'm trying to get out of it but it'd be a good job for you if you're a visual thinker or whatever I know it might go in the next list too so we'll talk about that as we go along now table three, good jobs for non-visual thinkers, those who are good at math, music, or facts. Accounting, get very good in a specialized field such as income taxes. The only thing about that is it's going to be real hard for you to do people's income taxes, especially when April 15th comes around because everybody's going to want you to do their taxes for them and it's going to be real hard on yourself and you get a lot of stress so library science reference librarian help people find information in the library or on the internet that'd be a good job I tried applying for one of the library jobs and they didn't want me so I don't know I'm gonna try again at some point computer programming less visual types can be done as freelance work Engineering, electrical, electronic, and chemical engineering. Journalist, very accurate facts can be done as freelance. Copy editor, corrects manuscripts, many people freelance for larger publishers. Taxi driver, knows where every street is. Well, let me put this on a, let me put this in my terms. I have done taxi driving, right? And now I'll tell you, it was good to drive around in a taxi, but the only problem was when I did the taxi driving, or one of the problems was, I had to use my GPS every single time where I was trying to find a street because I didn't know where I was. And I drove for Orlando and that area. If I was driving for Springfield, it'd be okay because I pretty much know all the streets in Springfield and Niagara and West Springfield. But driving around in Orlando, trying to figure out where these streets were, it's like, give me a break. And I quit on the third day. That and it was getting a little confusing because I didn't know where it would go in the taxes. And 
and also I quit because it was a real difficult job for me at the time you know because basically taxi drivers you have to pay to rent the car then you have to pay for the gas you have to pay for the tolls you go through you know and basically whatever's left over in the money is what you get and sometimes you make a lot sometimes you don't make a lot you know it was real hard for me anyways let's continue on here because there's a lot and we have another list to go after this so let's finish up this list inventory control keeps track of merchandise stocked in a store that'd be a perfect job for me so I'm going to try to transfer into one of those roles at Disney being like a stalker and make sure all the merchandise is there tuning pianos and other musical instruments can be done as freelance work I don't know if I can do that because I don't know how to do pianos or whatever laboratory technician running laboratory equipment bank teller very accurate money counting much less demand on short term working memory than a busy cashier who mostly makes change I agree with you on it but I also agree that bank teller yeah that'd be a great job because you don't have to worry about giving change but you do have to give money back to people that they need the money and you have to take the money they need to put it in their bank account so clerk and filing jobs knows where every file is yeah that'd be a good job too I wish I had one of those it would be an easy job telemarketing get to repeat the same thing over and over and over again selling on the telephone noisy environment may be a problem though Telvo telephone sales avoid many social problems yeah you don't have to deal with other people except on the telephone you need not to worry about eye contact or whatever statistician works in many different fields such as research census bureau industrial quality control US Department of Agriculture and etc now I don't know if you have seen this video or this movie but a mile in his shoes you know the uh, person who has the Asperger's the, the player who joins the team he could actually get all the uh, strikes out and all the pitches he knew the number and all he was very good at that when he was when he had to be sidelined and when he was first starting out with the team so you can know how to play the game and all he was very good at remembering the pitches and all and the number of pitches were thrown and all he was very smart on that physical uh, I don't know how to say that and then you also have mathematician there are very few jobs in these fields only the very brilliant can get and keep jobs jobs are much more plentiful in computer programming and accounting alright job 4 or table 4 list 4 jobs for non-verbal people with autism or people with very for verbal skills these would be good jobs for people like that reshelving library books can memorize the entire numbering system and shelf location I was trying to apply for one of those jobs and they didn't want me I'm going to try again in, in the future factory assembly work especially if the environment is quiet that can be real hard that was almost like my first job at the Work Opportunity Center when I was like 15 years old. That was a real good job for me. Let me just say that right now. Copy shop. Running photocopies, printing jobs should be lined up by someone else. Janitor jobs. Cleaning floors, toilets, windows, and offices. I don't think that would be a good job for me. Because uh, I get gag reflex, and if I have to pick up puke, 
it'd be real hard for me to deal with that. So, Re restocking shelves in many types of stores. That's the job I'm looking, hopefully getting. If I do transfer out of Pizza Planet, if I do get a job at Disney, another job is going around making sure everything is stocked up and all. That's what I do at Pizza Planet sometimes too, stocking up the food and stocking up the condiments and stocking up everything that needs to be stocked up. Alright, next one is recycling plant sorting job. Yeah, because you have to sort out the cans and bottles and plastic and all the other stuff. Warehouse, loading trucks and stacking boxes. Lawn and garden work. Mowing lawn and landscaping work. I could do that, but it's real hard because you have to deal with the hot sun all day long. Data entry. If the person has fine motor skills, motor problems, actually, let me read that again. Data entry. Now, if the person has fine motor problems, this would be a bad job. Okay. The next job is fast food restaurant cleaning and cooking jobs with little demand on short term memory. That's like busing at Pizza Planet, for example. Which I'm trying to get out of. Plant care. Water plants in a large office building. That would be a cool job for someone like me. Plant care. It's like watering plants. Like, for example, my mom has plants all over her house, and I would water them sometimes for her. She really likes plants, you know? She has plants like crazy all over the house. Inside the house, you see plants like crazy. You know, she, because she's a great, she likes plants, so. But anyways, that's the list that ta Dr. Temple Grandin has provided there are more jobs that can go onto these lists but at the same time there are more jobs out there for people like you that can get a job who are on the spectrum but yeah you know there are jobs out there for everybody you just have to find the right one and if you have a bachelor's degree that is really a good thing for you to have because they can help you find a job. It can help you as a tool to find a great job. Bachelor's degree is a great thing to have. Just finding the right job, we'll see. You know, it's just, it. the market is real tough right now. The economy is real tough too. And I don't know if it's gonna improve or not. I hope it does because if it improves, you'll see that more jobs will open up. Doesn't matter where. And this message is for Dr. Grandin. I hope I get a chance to meet you one of these days. Because you are an inspiration to me. And you are a great person in the community. And I'm trying to help you spread the awareness of autism every single day. And even if I'm on committees for walks and I volunteer at walks, you know, I am a great person out there. And this message also for Autism Speaks. I hope that you'll give me a chance in one of these days and let me work for you, let me have a career for you instead of being a just being a volunteer. You know, I am a great person. I deserve a chance. I want a chance at working for you. you know? Anyways, I'm going to close out in this video. Thanks again for the list. You know, thanks again for watching this video. And I hope that you do find a great job out there in this community, in this world. And I hope to see you guys on another episode of My Life with Asperger's. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.